Unit 2, Tape Script 2.1. D. Well, my country's got a population of uh, about three and a half million, so it's not a big place. Most of the people are from Europe, but about 12% are Maori. They were the original inhabitants. A lot of people live in bungalows, which are small houses on one floor. It's a very beautiful country. It's got a lot of mountains and people love the countryside. Oh, and we're very good at rugby and cricket. E. My country is the northern part of a bigger country, but we've got our own parliament. There are just over five million of us. We've got a lot of mountains and there are also lots of rivers, lakes and islands. People come to my country to fish. Our salmon is famous all over the world. F. I come from a big country. It has a lot of wide open spaces. We have a population of almost 300 million, and these people have come from all over the world. We have big cosmopolitan cities, but a lot of people live on farms, ranches, and in small towns. We like baseball and football, our kind of football. And we love to eat burgers with fries and apple pie and ice cream. Tape script 2.2. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Have you got a car? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. I don't have a computer. I haven't got a computer. Tape script 2.3 Where does he come from? Is she married? Does she have any brothers and sisters? Has he got any children? How many brothers and sisters has she got? What does he do? What does she do in her free time? Where do they go on holiday? What's she doing at the moment? Tape script 2.4 have breakfast, wash my hair, watch a film on TV, talk to my friends, make a cup of tea, listen to music, relax on the sofa, do my homework, have a shower, clear up the mess, do the washing up, have or put posters on the wall, cook a meal, send emails, put on makeup. Read magazines. Tape script 2.5. Home truths. Hello and welcome to the programme. Today we're going to hear just what couples really think of each other. What drives you mad about your partner? Here's Carol talking about her husband, Mike. Well, there are a lot of arguments about television in our house. He gets the remote control and he's always changing channels, so I never see what I want to. All he wants to watch is football, football, football. When I try to talk to him, he doesn't listen because he's watching the TV. And something else is... He never remembers anything. Birthdays, when we're going out, nothing. I have to do it all. I decide where we're going on holiday, what car to buy. He can't make a decision to save his life. So there we have Carol's opinion. What does Mike say about her? When we're out in the car and she's driving, she doesn't change gears. 
She's talking about somebody or other and not thinking about driving at all. I want to shout at her, change gear now, but I don't. When I want to watch something on television, like the news, she always wants to watch a soap or a film. And another thing, she's always on the phone. She spends hours talking to our daughter. Do you know where she lives? Just round the corner. But what do they think of their marriage? Here's Carol. Well, I can't change him now, so I'll just have to put up with him. And Mike? We've been married for 25 years, and she's the only one for me. And now we have another couple, Dave and Alison. Oh, and by the way, Dave's an electrician. What drives me absolutely mad is that he starts a job and never finishes it. At work, he's so professional. But at home, if I want a light in the bedroom changed, it takes him months. And he's so untidy. He just drops things on the floor. I keep saying that I don't want to be his mother as well as his wife. When we go out, he looks so scruffy, even when I'm all dressed up. His clothes are so old-fashioned. He never throws anything away. Oh, dear. Now, what does Dave have to say about Alison? <laughs> well, she's never ready on time. She always finds something to do that means we're always late, wherever we go. She's usually doing her hair or her makeup while I'm saying, Come on, love, it's time to go. And she loses things. She forgets where she parked the car. She leaves the car keys in the most stupid places. But what is most annoying about Alison is that she's always right. And their final opinions about each other? He's great. He's good fun. And he's one in a million. See? As I said, she's always right. So there we are. My thanks to Carol and Mike and Dave and Alison. Tape script 2.6. 1. Hello, what's your name? Maria. I'm James. I'm a teacher. And uh, where are you from? Rome. Um, what, what do you do? I'm a student. Hmm. And um, how long have you been here in London, Maria? Two months. Are you having a good time? Mm, yes. Can I get you a coffee? No. Are you missing your family at all? No. Uh, have you got any brothers or sisters? Yes. Uh, oh, uh, what do they do? They are students too. Oh, well, um, I've got a class now. Goodbye, Maria. Ciao. Two. Hello. What's your name? Jean-Paul. And what's your name? Sylvia. Where are you from, Jean-Paul? I come from Paris, the most romantic city in the whole world. <laughs> and you, Sylvia, where do you come from? Well, I come from Scotland. What do you do in Paris? I'm an architect. Oh, really? Yep. I design beautiful buildings for people with lots of money. <laughs> I'm very expensive. <laughs> how interesting. And how long have you been a teacher, Sylvie? Actually, my name's Sylvia. I'm so sorry. Sylvie is a French name. Sylvia, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. I like it. I've been working here for five years. And do you enjoy it? Oh, yes, very much. You meet a lot of people from all sorts of different countries. I like that very much. Are you enjoying it here? Very, very much. I'm learning a lot of English, I'm making a lot of friends, and even the food is not bad. <laughs> well, I'm not dead yet, and I've been here for five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia, can I get you a coffee? Oh, um, I've got a few minutes before my next class, so that would be lovely. Thank you very much. Why don't we go?
Tape Script 2.7 1. What a lovely day it is today. Yes, beautiful, isn't it? 2. It's very wet today. Mmm, horrible. Makes you feel miserable, doesn't it? 3. How are you today? I'm very well, thanks. How about you? 4. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, it was lovely. We had lunch and went for a walk. Five. How do you find living in London? I'm enjoying it. It was a bit strange at first, but I'm getting used to it. Six. Did you have a good journey? Yes, no problems. The plane was a bit late, but it didn't matter. 7. Did you watch the football yesterday? No, I missed it. Was it a good game? 8. What a lovely jacket you're wearing. Thank you. I got it in Paris last year. 9. If you have any problems, just ask me for help. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. 10. Excuse me, is this your scarf? Yes, it is. Thank you. Where did you find it? 